The 95th annual Tucson Rodeo kicks off this weekend, drawing in crowds eager to see the event. And that's where we find an on your side, Luzdelia Caballero. So Luzdelia, how is it going out there? Tasha, it's a lot of fun. I mean, from the get, everyone's dressed for the occasion. I'm in my plaid. I have my boots on. Horses are right behind me. Fitting, right, for the 95th annual Tucson Rodeo. So just so you can get an idea of what people experience when they walk in, just in case you want to come. Uh, when you walk in, you kind of get hit with the smell of barbecue. Then you hear lots of cheers, lots of music. You get pumped up for the uh, competitions that are going on in the arena. And some of those events included mutton busting, which if you don't know, uh, that's when kids ride sheep. There was also barrel racing. And these are events that general manager Gary Williams says makes this event so special and brings the community together. But what we bring, we bring out the cowboy and people. Every, every man, woman, and child probably at some point in their lives want to be a cowboy. Um, this gives them a chance to be a cowboy for a day or for a week and experience the Western lifestyle the way we experience it every day. Adds that they're expecting upwards of 60,000 people if weather permits. Now moving forward uh, today, if you can make it out, there is a barn dance that's going to go until the later night hours, definitely after eight. So if you can come on by, it's going to be a lot of fun for the rest of the night. But coming up at 10, if you're at home, uh, feel free to watch our upcoming story, which is going to feature a two Tucson barrel racer who is going to share why it's a privilege to be a female competing in the Tucson rodeo. Reporting live from the Tucson Rodeo, Luz Caballero, Kega 9 on your side. And way to dress for the occasion, Luz Thank you.